uh, Bushwick Bill. What about the accident? Do you want to talk about that with the, the Everclear? Sure. Why not? It was like this here. I started out the day drinking Everclear. Lots and lots of Everclear. Which is strong stuff. Yeah, it is, it is corn liquor. And then I moved up to E&J. Then when I went to the club, I had Crown Royal, Long Island Tea, and I had gin. Then, afterwards, I smoked me some weed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I ain't going to lie about it because it's in Rolling Stones. It came out in the beginning of this month, and I said exactly that, so I ain't going to bite my tongue. You know what I'm saying? And when I came home, my girl was asleep, so I woke her up and told her to kill me because I wanted to die. I was tired of, of my life. She said she didn't want to shoot me, so I shot at her and my three-month-old baby first. Then I tried to beat her head in with a vacuum cleaner, but I missed. Then I gave her the gun and jumped at her, and when I see her hand reach the trigger, I put my eye in front of it. And as you can see, I'm a lot happier now because God saw fit to spare me in spite of myself. So the wages of sin is death, but God saw fit to make me have more breath. How did you feel the next morning? I didn't feel nothing. That's the whole thing, too. After she shot me, I started laughing. And I looked in the mirror and said, look, there's a bullet in my eye. You didn't feel regret about everything? I didn't feel nothing. You know no. what I'm saying? Until like two days later, after, after I started thinking about, you know, the, the vision I had of God and everything and him telling me that to, to, to go back and then like I blacked out and everything was dark and it seemed like it, I, I, I was in hell because all I kept hearing was people screaming and stuff like that you know what I'm saying it was weird it's, at first I, I thought I, I had you know died and next thing I know I'm, I'm alive but what I didn't remember that everybody told me that I fought the ambulance people for an hour it took two ambulances to take me to that to the hospital just to save my life that's how drunk I was so now you're suing Everclear nah you know? I'm not, not, not going to sue them because okay. the, the way I see it is, is this. I was the one who took it upon myself to, to consume Everclear. You know what I'm saying? They're just a distributor. I was a consumer. Okay. So anyway, what you talk about in the music, the Ghetto Boys, it's, it's really what you feel then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was a homicidal maniac with suicidal tendencies. The homicide I want to commit was on myself and the suicide is the act thereof. So uh, one last question because we are running out of time. What do you see for the future for the Ghetto Boys? For the future, the Ghetto Boys can't be stopped because we're three different minds, you know, collaborating on, on, on many different aspects of life, the things that we go through. Because think about it, a wholehearted action is what you think, what you feel, and what you do. There you have the Ghetto Boys. Name describe the background, describes it well. 